So it all started with a tweet from Tassino, man. Landed in L.A. And y'all already know exactly what that meant. It's wager season. It's Tassino time. It's all of that good stuff that we're going to talk about right after this, man. So before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment birthday down below because y'all already know what it is. This is my birthday weekend. That means big streams and all of that good stuff. So sing it with me now. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Hey, man, birthday weekend, big birthday weekend, bash, big streams, all that stuff, big giveaways and all of that stuff. All I want y'all to do, comment birthday down below. That's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, if at the end of the month, if we can average 8K views, we kind of close to that. We're going to be giving away a next-gen console, 500 bucks, or a laptop, depending on what y'all want if you win. That's number one. Number two, and the more important of these two, every single Friday, we're going to be giving away $50 in VC, Cash App, or we're going to give away um, a copy of a video game of y'all's choice. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to play that God of War on stream or any of the new games that's out there on stream, man, and I'm going to do that for y'all. Number three, this is the more important one. The bots are back in town. Make sure that y'all ignore the bots. Listen, they're telling y'all I'm on... Uh, I'm on Telegram. They're telling y'all Brutus is on Telegram. They're telling y'all Badgy Plug is on Telegram. None of us are on Telegram. All City Live TV, Instant Burner. None of us are on Telegram. Make sure that y'all are Laker fans too. They're telling y'all he on. Make sure y'all ignore that, man. Because um, I'm not on it. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Black Planet. Um, you know, I ain't hard to find. Not on Telegram. I'm not putting my phone number down there because I ain't trying to get, uh, you know, all, any of that stuff. And so with all that out of the way, good morning. Man. Hey, like I said, bro, that boy Tassino said it's wager season and uh, all of that good stuff, man. So check it out. Bam. That boy Poor Boy Sin says it's a reason I'm first up on the wager tour. Think about it. And I actually did think about it, and I was like, I mean, you're on the West Coast. I mean, that's that's where you are. You're on the West Coast. You're the most, uh, you're the most popular person on the West Coast. And with him being on the West Coast with no delay, he wants to play the person that's closest to him and the most popular person on the West Coast. If he was in Atlanta, he'd probably play Colder Man first. But that's all I've got. Now, I'm just messing with you, man. But you know, I mean, it is what it is, man. Obviously, if you're going to play 2K, and when you think about West Coast 2K, you think about two people. Big Papa Berde, a.k.a. Jarrett Jar 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 Jar's twin, and you think about Poor Boy Sin. Those two names come to mind. So you knew that this was going to be the most epic showdown in NBA 2K history. A lot of people were saying this is making you get very strong NBA 2K20 vibes. I don't know about that. My old ass fell asleep, and I missed the entirety of that whole thing. <laughs> I'm so old, man. I was like, I was like, look, 8 p.m. Okay, bet. Uh, then I saw, I saw a PST. Jesus Christ, PST. Huh, huh. So I was like, okay, I ended my stream like nine. I said I'm gonna get me a little nap, nap, nappy. Bro, I woke up at eight o'clock this morning. Had it when it was time for AJ to kill the school. <laughs> I had to research this joint just like everybody else did, man. So having to research it like everybody else did, here we, here we go. Hey, poor boy saying taking out of uh, three to two in a best of five uh, for the twelve hundred dollar pot. Next wager announced very soon. Thanks for watching. Now I know that some people are probably having some questions about the whole thing where he was saying that he was gonna play for ten k. He's only gonna play. For 10K, if you beat him, if you're somebody like me that doesn't, I, I don't play 2K like that. I don't got hundreds of hours in the game. I ain't got 23s in there like key sticks and all that. So with, with that's that's who he's saying he's gonna be playing. He's not gonna play somebody like Sin for 1200 because that's that's you know that's something that's 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 250 50. It's gonna have to be a, a matchup that's decidedly in his favor favor and rightfully so because if I'm betting you. You know, if we just pretty much been for clout or whatever, but I'm saying to lose 10K, yeah, it's going to have to be slanted in my favor. So I ain't even mad at that, man. Uh, it is what it is. Like I said, Sin played great. They went down to game five, and uh, it came down really to the last couple of possessions. Chrissy T played an outstanding game from when I went back and uh, reviewed it and all that good stuff. Didn't miss a shot the entire thing. They even said that he's an opportunist player. Like, if you back up off him, he's pulling. If you get too close, he's going to the rim. I think that's how everybody wants to play the game. So how everybody should play the game. I mean, if you're watching the game right here, this is how we play the game. That's what we do. They take me out of the game. They try to take Gambit out of the game. And they try to put the onus on our other people that are playing with us to win these games. That's what they try to do. So, you know, it is what it is. The community reacted to it, though, man. And here we go. Hey, Will says... Ticino, the GOAT. 
Hey, Chrissy T says, I am so dang thankful to be here, man. Not to get, I mean, be back. Not to get emotional, but it's good to be back. I've been through the gutter, man. LMFAO. I ain't going anywhere, though. Not this time. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I think, I think what he's saying is, when he first started playing with Tysino, when he first started doing his thing with Tysino or whatever, he probably was like, you know, when a lot of stuff comes quickly, you take it for granted and you think it's gonna be there forever. And then it's like, oh geez, like uh, you know, you know, like just like when I first started YouTube, I got to twenty thousand subs in the Call of Duty community so quickly, I thought, hey, I'm about to cruise to a hundred thousand. Fourteen years later, I haven't even hit a hundred K. So you understand what I'm saying? When you get that success really quickly, you kind of take it for granted and you think that that's what it is and then you think it's gonna always be there. Now he's saying, you know, uh, you know, the last couple of years he's been streaming, but not as much. And now, you know, he's like, yo, this is what I want to do. This is what I really want to be on. And so, hey, I ain't gonna take it for granted this time. I'm gonna keep doing my thing, man. Hey, good on him, man. Keep doing your thing. That boy saying, you know, he lost and it's all good, bro. It is what it is. Um, it's it just cool. It's cool. Sin is still a goat. He's still that guy. You still don't want to play him. You can't beat him for the most part, and it is what it is. That boy EJ always on something else, man. He said, I lost $300 with you. I learned my lesson. I'm asleep. He says, about book, book says, incredible wager. Uh, that wager was incredible. Uh, Nick, Nick says, poor boy Sin versus Tysino wager was giving me 2K20 vibes. Can't even hate on that. Best shot creator ever, Tysino. Uh, he says, um, Tysino is freaking back. Holy dupe. Holy dookie. What a wager. Can't even get mad. 2K20 vibes. That's what everybody's saying, 2K20 vibes. Hey, <laughs> EJ, yet again. Ain't no way seeing sold my brand. I lost 300 freaking dollars. Hey, man, that's why you don't gamble on stuff, brother. If you, I mean, that's why, that, listen, I'm going to be honest with y'all. That's why I would never complain about losing money in a wager because... I've learned a lesson in my lifetime having a lot of gambling uncles and all of that stuff. You only gamble, it's, 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 gambling is like investing. You only gamble and invest what you're willing to lose. Something that, I mean, if you actually needed it or whatever like that, you shouldn't have gambled it. Because gambling means that there's a strong chance that you're not gonna get it back. Because who always wins? The house always wins. That's absolutely right. Hey, uh, what, what's the name? What did he say? Here we go. Uh, Tysino is undoubtedly the man knows how to win. Glad you're back, my brother. At least for right now, anyway. Hey, the girl Jada says, let's freaking go. Uh, you know, and uh, that's it right now. So now we're going to go on. That's all that everybody had to say about that, man. We're going to talk about my boy Laker fan in one second. Uh, but yeah, I just want to let y'all know what y'all let me know what y'all thought about the wager. Did y'all see it live? If y'all ain't as old as I am, I'm pretty sure that y'all had uh, fun with the wager and y'all had a fun time watching it and all of that stuff because I was asleep. Not even going to capulate you, my boy. Up next, we got the boy Laker fan. He says, I can confirm Clutch Shooter is like that. Was going over badge loadouts with the boys and he... And, and we did, we did seriously had everyone take off Green Machine in favor of Clutch Shooter and Volume Shooter. That joint went hard, man. Apollo Bean Bryant. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. This is something that I've known for a little while. Let me tell y'all why. I, we, me and T, we was playing a game and another game where they was freezing me out and I couldn't ne never get no shots and then they started leaving me open. Boy, I was bricking. Little young man, I said I was bricking. <laughs> <laughs> and uh i had clutch shoot on hall of fame it's like one of the only badges i had on because i was a center and in tier three you can't even really get nothing i'm a center the last the last uh what it was like the last few shots of the game they left me open i hit five in a row because it was in the fourth quarter quarter and clutch shooter was kicking in so i know clutch shooter is like that if you don't know that clutch shooter is like that man i'm telling y'all clutch shooter is like that but in the wreck and stuff like that, somewhere where you're going to actually be able to take advantage of it. I was able to take advantage of it the entirety of two minutes and the whole fourth quarter, and I was hooping. So, you know, but I really was bricking because I hadn't played on PlayStation in a while. And my Victrix is in the mail. It's, it's in the mail. It's not going to get here to the 16th. So, um, yeah, I will be on PlayStation heavily when the Victrix come out. I'm going to show you all what that looks like uh, in a second, man. Up next, though. Hey, like I said, it definitely is like that. Up next, we got the boy. Dime, dime work saying the second no money spent bill already at 85 overall just made it a few days ago my career quest and daily quest will get you right i'll never buy vc again and i'm gonna tell y'all something man somebody came along and was like that's uh that's pure cap and he said absolutely no cap uh, no, there's no reason to cap 
uh, in addition to the VC I've earned while playing Wreck, I do the main quest, daily quest, and the play and play my career endorsements, MVP point payouts, uh, etc. All these things add up, and as I earn VC, I slowly upgrade the player until I'm ready to play on it. And uh, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. Like my dude, this is my second player that I've made. And uh, right now he is a he's a 93. I ain't spent no money on it. I played enough 2K with Brute and all of them, and I haven't been buying boost all season. Well, I buy jump shot boost, but jump shot boost is you know I only buy one boost, just jump shot boost. And if you just buy jump shot boost after you played hundreds of games in the wreck and um my career and all of that good stuff, man, you will have. I had like 500k after after I, we played uh the the whatever the event was it ruffles or something something that gave us bingo. After I got the 25,000 from bingo, I had I had enough, and so it was dope, man. I I, I felt like uh, really good about it because I was able to make this player for free, and I'm slowly regenerating the VC. So you could definitely do it. Uh, I don't know how often you could do it, but you definitely got to do those my career quests. You got to do the daily quests. You got to do everything that's gonna give you VC. But once you get your endorsements right in my career you're probably making a thousand a game or something like that so you can just play a bunch of a bunch of my career games you're gonna be good but it's not gonna get you there fast but you can definitely you could definitely definitely do it man last but not least my boy og grandmaster sensei says bro they changed shooting i keep missing these past two days and i never miss not gonna lie to y'all man shooting does feel a little bit touched but it's not one of those things that's bad. It's nothing that I'm not able to get used to. I feel like it. I mean, it, it is what it is, bro. It's, it's just one of those things where 2K, it feels like they always changing something. But you don't have to worry about that because you got the jump shots from your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the mother barbershop, man. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I got the jump shots for y'all. And um, I, I think that y'all should really rock with them joints, man. Go back, check out those videos. And if y'all don't have, um, you know, if you don't have a good jump shot, Make sure you mess with one of them jump shots, man. It is what it is, bro. Uh, and last but not least, man, this is what I wanted to show y'all. This is the new controller that I got coming. The Victrix. Uh, I don't know exactly what it's called, man. They they, they say it's right here, fifth place at the at the French. I, I don't know what it was, bro. But this is the new Vit Victrix Gaming Pro controller. This is a PlayStation controller. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, uh, th this, this is what you're thinking right here. You're thinking... Jay, Jay, that looks like a regular PlayStation controller. Nope, it's not a PlayStation. Should I, should I, I'm gonna drop it. I ain't gonna do that. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. It's not a no. It's not re regular. You see this right here? Oh, y'all can't see my cursor. Dang it. Um, hold on one second. Is that the display capture? Capture my cursor. Boom. Okay, so you see this right here? This right here. Uh, this you can pull this module out, and this will actually go here. So you pull that module out and then and you can just flip it around and you can do the same thing for this. So if I wanted these buttons to be here, I could flip it around and I could do that right there. And then they actually got another module that you put in and it makes this all fight buttons uh, for like a fight stick or whatever like that. So, I mean, I think it's going to be a dope controller and I will be on PlayStation a lot more once that comes out. I just don't want to be out there selling t because I can't really deal with I can't I can't play with the with the uh the my thumbs this controller right here bro this controller i, I just can't do it it's just like I, I i i've been so indoctrinated into xbox that if the if the thumbsticks aren't offset nothing i can do with it man but anyway y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man hopefully y'all enjoyed the video um like i said happy birthday to your boy make sure y'all comment for your chance to win a next gen console or 50 bucks or a game of y'all choice and i'm gonna holler y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Guys, please.